Hi, in this video we will start talking about vector operations. Some of the basic vector operations are the scalar, addition, and subtraction. In this video we will talk about the vector scalar operation. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a vector v equals 3, 0, 0. In my coordinate system, I can create a representation of my vector v by anchoring it to a point A. And as we can see that there is a shift of three units in the x direction, zero and zero in the y and z direction. So we can say that our vector is going in the positive x direction and have a length equal three units. Suppose I want to double the length of my vector. That is to create a new vector that goes in the same direction but has length equals 6. How do I achieve that? In order to change the length or take a factor of the length of any vector, we use a scalar operation. In this case, we would like to double the length of my vector. So let's try to perform a scalar operation. A scalar operation, what it does, it scales vector by some factor. In our case, we want to scale our vector v by a factor of 2. And in order to calculate, we need to multiply 2 by each one of the vector components 3, 0, 0. That generates a new scaled vector, let's call it s, that is equal to 6, 0, 0. We calculated that by multiplying 2 by each one of the vector components. Now, the length of my input vector v is equal to 3 units. The length of my vector s is 2 times the length of my vector v and is equal to 6 units. Let's see how we achieve vector scalar operation in Grasshopper. Given my vector v equal 5 to 0, I can view it in the viewport by anchor it to a point, and I can see the vector output in the viewport. The length of my vector is 5.39. If I want to scale or create a new vector, that is twice the length of my original input vector and goes the same direction, I use grasshopper multiplication component. I feed the vector to one of the inputs and a factor to the second. Suppose I want to use a factor of two, double the length. Now the result should be a vector that is twice the length but go in the same direction. Let's test that. The output is a, the vector 10, 4, 0. Notice how the result is by multiplying 2 by each one of the three components of the input vector 5, 2, 0. Let's test the length of that vector. Notice that the length of the new vector is twice the length of the input vector. In order to be able to see it visually, let me copy the same. Let me just change the color to red and feed it the new vector. As you can see, the red vector goes in the same direction as the black vector, and the length is double the length. This is how we do a scalar operation in Grasshopper. There is a component under Vector tab called Amplitude, and it does something to the length of the vector. Let's see how it works. Let's take our original vector, V, 
and feed it the same number two. Now I created a new vector. Let's try to visualize that new vector. I'll change the color to blue and feed it the new vector. The blue vector still goes in the same direction as my original vector. And the length of that vector, let's check, is equal to 2. So what happened with the amplitude component, it sets the length of your vector to whatever input we give it. It does not scale the vector. In order to scale a vector, you need to use the multiplication component. And if you need to set a length to a specific value, then you can use the amplitude component.